Governor Charlie Baker announces a statewide ban on the sale of vaping products Tuesday. The decision comes as he declared a public health emergency in Massachusetts. It's getting praise from some in the state, but many local businesses are worried about their future. Our Cam Jandro spoke to the owner of a vape shop today and joins us now with more. Cam. Honor, the Department of Public Health voted unanimously 11 to 0 to uphold Governor Charlie Baker's four month ban, meaning you cannot buy any vape products from an online retailer or a store in person here in the state of Massachusetts. There are dozens of these vape shops spread throughout the state. One of the owners here in the city of Worcester says it's absolutely detrimental to his business. We as a Commonwealth need to pause sales in order for our medical experts to collect more information about what is driving these life-threatening vaping-related illnesses. Governor Charlie Baker's ban on selling vape products comes after dozens of cases of vaping-related illness. Worcester businesses, like Vaporize, are expecting to take a major hit in sales. 90% of our business is from vape products, and that's including the devices and the liquids. Under the ban. Retailers in Massachusetts will be unable to sell vaping products for the next four months. A notice would have been a lot easier, but this media ban kind of puts us in panic mode. Worcester County Sheriff Lou Evangelitis supports the ban. The sheriff says he's talked about the dangers of vaping to more than 400,000 kids through his face-to-face -face program. And the ease of access of these products is what's concerning. They can create the oils in these, they can mix them in such a way that they have no odor and they have no plume, no smoke. So you can have people doing this in your living room, in classrooms, right in front of you practically. The state's Department of Public Health cites 61 cases of vaping-related illness in Massachusetts. The Department of Public Health and local boards of health working with law enforcement will be charged with enforcing this ban. Evangelitis says unknown ingredients in the devices are worrying. If you were selling food and people were getting contaminated food and getting sick, you would say I'd stop serving that food. Right now, we have a product that seems to be contaminated. Vaporize's owner, Adrian Pelka, spent part of the afternoon answering phone calls from concerned customers. The ban is effective immediately. Pelka says his business will need to rely on something else for the next four months. So we do sell some CBD products too, so we're kind of relying on that to maybe uh, hold this over for a little while until they figure out what they want to do after the four-month ban. Now, the American Vaping Association slamming the ban earlier today, calling it absolutely absurd and unconstitutional. They say they'll even back any lawsuits against Governor Charlie Baker. This ban will be in effect here in the state of Massachusetts until January 25th of 2020. In Worcester, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.